Hey everyone, it's Elisa. I am here in Connecticut. I am in Cynthia Russo's studio. Uh, we are spending a girls weekend together. Cynthia is our other admin and the other founder of the group. And so I'm here sitting in her awesome studio, I have to say, wait till you see. And uh, we decided that we're going to do a little tutorial for you guys, a little box shoot tutorial. Um, I guess a tutorial and just sort of like watch how what the setup looks like. We're gonna do a couple of little tricks to show you and then later on we'll both edit some pictures, not live, and show you some of the outcomes. So um, I just wanted to give you a quick little tour of her studio. I wanna give it a couple of minutes and let people sort of see and come online because I could see where um, get a little bit more of an audience going um, to show you the different tricks and the different setups. But also, I'm going to post this onto the group so this can be replayed and I'm gonna put it into the units also. So, hello everybody, and feel free to like ask us questions, chat with us, we'll periodically go back and forth and look at the camera and uh, we can answer some questions if you want. We'll try to be really explicit in showing you how we do some of these really cool tricks. So, I'm going to flip the camera around. Uh, Cynthia, you wanna come say hi? Yeah. Okay. Hi, how you doing, everybody? So Wait, glad you can join us. I know, here okay, I am. there you are. So, We're excited. We're really excited. I know. Get to do our first box shoot together. I know. I've Actually, this is really cool because we've never done a box shoot together before, right? right? So we've been friends for, for how many years have we been friends for already? Uh, three? No, I think two? more than that. No, we've been friends uh, longer uh, than two oh, years. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like maybe five. I, I want to say like five yeah, years, Yeah, I forgot right? about the other group. Yeah. Yeah. So we met online yeah. in a different group, not even on Facebook. And we became real life friends and I took a ferry over to see her yesterday and we went hiking and had so much fun and yep. um so now we're gonna do a little we and we're gonna do we're gonna do a shoot together. Yeah. So in my messy studio. No, your studio is gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you. Studio blows my basement studio away like a thousand times. Wait till you yeah. see. I'm gonna give a little Well a little avoid tour. that section over there. Okay. <laughs> oh, really? Because it's really nice. Like the whole thing yeah. is so nice. Okay. No, the whole thing looks so oh, nice. Okay. She's a really awesome studio. Can I do it from like the entrance? Sure. All right. Sure. So I'm going to flip the screen around. Oh, All right. Um, let's see how we do that. Okay. So I'm going to bring you. All right. I'll bring you. Whoops. You can, now you guys saw the ceiling. I have to figure out how to, um, how to make this stay. <laughs> oh, you want to take it off then? No, but when we do it, okay. this this like tilts a little. Oh, it should stay. Okay, so walking through the entrance of her studio, these awesome, beautiful floors. She's got, she tethered up the camera to Lightroom, which is very cool. So we can do, pick, take pictures and you'll be able to see it right there. She has this awesome, great workspace yep. in the back of the studio. She has a really nice little sitting area. So when clients come in, they can sit and they can relax. And then she can even use these uh, different couches and whatnot as props, right? Yeah. yeah I use, everything is props. Yeah. So really beautiful. In my latest chair. Nice chair. All right. And then, voila, there, there you go. So let's take a look at the camera and the lighting setup. All right. So we use buff, right? You'll use, yep. use the policy Einstein. buff light system. So she's got her light set up. Just an Einstein. One light. Take a really good look. You can see the her light. What size box is this? It's um, a soft box. I don't know. It's a, it's a rectangular, something like that probably. And it's literally just right next to her camera. Smack next to it. And you're going to see how great it lights up the box. You don't really need anything more than that. And then she has her Camera set up with a trigger on top, yeah, <clears> so it could trigger the light. I have a 35 millimeter. This is a 2470 lens, and it's generally at 35 when I do a box shoot or thereabouts. Um, I have it on f11. Speed is 200. Can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it's not there. No, nope. my ISO. I might have boosted up to 200. Just okay for today's purposes, and um, yeah, and that's it. That's it, and, like, and how many feet would you say you're back from your box? Uh, if you're doing it at 30, she's, she's shooting at 35 millimeters, so maybe like 12 feet back from the box. Yeah. 
Um, and then show it to him. Here's your box. Scuff marks and all. Yep. That I don't freak out about anymore. Some props that we set up. And then here you go. <clears throat> and here's the setup from this view. So you could see really the camera is just on a tripod. It's really directly next to the light. The light is pretty much smack in the middle of the box too. You're not using any kind of side lighting. We're just using some light to just, you, you're gonna want shadows. So when you'll see when she takes the pictures, there will be shadows in there. Shadows are good, but they're nice. They're diffused, they're not you know, heavy and the light is really nice and spread out. So, um, and I am gonna set up the remote. I generally have a, a Bluetooth remote, but it needs battery and I can't find the battery. So I'm gonna <laughs> the old school and plug it in. The old school. It, it can untangle <laughs> but yeah, so that you know you can interact with your clients more or whoever's in the box. Hi, Chelsea. Chelsea's Chelsea's upping a phone call. Hope that didn't go through. <laughs> Oh, I would disable the phone call feature. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna set this up and we're gonna take turns. We have a couple of little things we wanna show you how to do. So I guess I'll set up the camera. Oh, do we have a roll of tape? Um, yeah, I brought the tape. Uh, yeah, I put the tape out. So I guess, should we, do we wanna show them just the box and how, or should we show it from behind and you're taking the pictures? Um, Let's see. I think yeah, you don't need this part because everybody already knows, but they want to actually see how we pour. Right. And how we What do you think? Up. Come look and say. Up. Like that? Or sure. Or should we go in? Go in a little closer. All right. Cool. We, don't need the, we don't need the camp. Is that uh, your mom? The photographer. Is your mom watching? Hi, mom. <laughs> hi, mom. I'm going to wave to you guys. Oh, I waved. Oh, my mom said hi. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So hopefully this stays. And, uh, you know, right now my, the video is on an angle, so the box looks off center, but it's fine. We, we set it up in, in advance and the box is totally centered into the camera. Right. So, um, and that's it. Everything is all set up and ready to go. So what should we do first? Um, excited. How about if we just take a few basic shots? Okay. Um, sorry. Did I take my socks on or off? What do you think? You be the director. <laughs> okay. And then we'll switch. And I'll take some of you. Take, well, mine are off, so if we're going to do anything together, okay. we kind of want to... Oh, I should have gotten a manicure. Right? I know, <laughs> mine are horrible. I mean, looks like I have to Photoshop my toes. <laughs> do you know what's funny? When you're doing this, you forget. We're doing actually live, so hi, everybody, and... Hope right. we don't forget that you're there. <laughs> so one of the things is take a look at the little fringes on my shirt. If yeah. you're not careful, I'm gonna have fringes hanging over. That may be really cool. You may want fringes hanging over, but, not but I would shot. suggest not doing that very often. Yeah. So if you're especially if you're just starting out with the boxes, my suggestion to you is to make sure that people keep all limbs, all body parts in a lot of the photos inside the perimeter of the box so that you don't have to do any kind of special fancy photoshopping for a lot of the pictures. Yeah. Right, so. so Chelsea just asked, do you guys have your camera facing up, not sideways, if that makes sense? Chelsea, I think you're asking um, horizontal. Right? Yeah. yeah, you know what? Typically I have mine portrait okay. mode. Right. Today I happened to click it on there and we have it all set up, so we're gonna go with it. Yeah. But, yeah. I, but I generally shoot a box photo like a, a portrait, vertical. You? Yeah, yeah. And then when I first started the first few box shoots, I did horizontal the way she has it now. And then I flipped it for, and now I generally shoot right. it uh, vertical because then you are able to get a little bit closer to the box. Exactly. And that's, get the feet in. That's what I said this morning yeah. when we were setting up. I thought, wow, I'm a little bit further away than normal, but that's the reason why. So thanks, Chelsea, for figuring that out for us. <laughs> oh, and also Cynthia preset her camera. So we mm -hmm. already went, I already went in the box. She took a few sh uh, shots of me. Mm -hmm. She focused her camera and then you set it onto right. manual, right? Is that what you did? Is that how you no, actually that? I left it on auto because I thought that's... Oh. <laughs> Let me just okay. double, well, you know what? It's always good to double check. So we, we were talking about how, you know, each of us do it a little bit differently. So I, 
in the beginning used to I tried one shoot, it was just a practice shoot with somebody, and I tried just focusing, setting it and forgetting it. So I I set, you know, I got focused on the person and then I um, set my camera into manual mode which locks in the focus and then afterwards I don't know why I don't know if I just did something wrong but a lot of my pictures were slightly out of focus not fully out of focus but the eye was just out of focus slightly so I just get nervous and I end up focusing and moving my focal point a lot during a photo shoot but I know that there are other people we talk about it in the group there are definitely people in the group that lock in the focus and it works for them. So, and you do that, right? Right, you lock and I'm in the actually gonna do it again. And since it's at F11, I'm pretty safe. Right, it should, it should know, work. It focuses your eyes here if you're forward and it focuses if you're in the back, so. Right, because you know there's a certain depth of field that you can have, still achieve focus. And um, if you have any real questions about that, you should hit up Chris Mills. <laughs> I think he's got a video on it. Yes. It's in the, it's in the, um, it's in the units, okay. I think. He's got a whole description about focal length and mm -hmm. depth of field and how, you know, what's in focus and what distance. Yeah. It's really technical. So, um, can you just drag your feet over for a second? I want to point out something as well. So, since I have my camera on horizontal mode, which I normally don't do, but I did today and it's all set up, so we're going with it, I have to be sure that, let him drape all the way down. Okay. I can, I know that her feet will be cut off because Elisa has beautiful long legs. So, <laughs> today, long, long I'm going to be sure that she's got them either tucked up a little bit, or she's lifting her knees, or to show where you lift your feet. Yeah, Just doing like that. Like this. Yeah, I wouldn't have her hanging her feet all the way down, because we're going to have to not use the picture. Right. Just because of our setup today. So just always be aware. And that's really another good reason to do the... The, 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 the vertical. That was vertical. a really good question, yeah. Chelsea. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I want to focus you and I'm going to turn it on manual. Okay. Is that all right? Watch. Yeah, that's okay. fine. Okay. Don't let me leave my watch here because you don't have to nail it to me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Or you'll just have to come down. And well, I'll come back and visit again. Or you'll come to me. <laughs> okay. And that should. And you know, we can double check because we are tethered to Lightroom. We can double check part way in to make sure we're in focus. Right. And if we're not, we don't ruin the whole shoot. Right, right, right. Right? Yep. Okay. Totally. So let's see if my remote is working. Since the other one isn't. Hey, it did. It worked. And I think my computer had gone to sleep. Oh. So <laughs> the Lightroom tether is funny that way. Let's just see. Let me just see if this is. Okay, the lighting is perfect. My um, when I'm looking at when I'm looking at the photo, I make sure the same amount of wall. That's how I do it. I make sure the same amount of wall is present on both sides of the box, and that way you know you're centered, left to right, and then also from top to bottom. Do you so have yeah. to have a camera that has um, a level inside of it? Like my camera has a level. I turn it on. I go into live mode on my camera, yeah. and I set it up so that there's like a level and there's a crisscross and I can kind of center it that way. Cool. But I have to say that sometimes I bring them back into photo into Lightroom and they're not mm -hmm. they're not perfectly yeah. level and um, you know there's some tricks that you can actually yeah. make the box a little more square. Yeah. Also yeah, after that. Okay, so um, do you want to try one of our tricks? Tricks okay, first. Let's do a trick. All right. Um, we should do the. You know what? I'm going to check to see if anybody has any questions because we don't. We're not here behind the camera. The phone. Okay. Nobody else. Um, do you want to do the pour? Okay. Yeah. Let's do. It. So so we decided because it's afternoon. Um, wine is always good at any time, but <laughs> <laughs> we're going to do a coffee pour because um, I have to go home soon and Cynthia has to drive me to the ferry. So we can't drink wine. <laughs> no. Not that you have to drink the wine when you do a wine pour, but um, so we made a, she made a fresh pot of coffee, but put some ice cubes in it to cool it down so we don't burn ourselves. And um, Which mug should we use? I'm gonna set it up so, who, how, how are we gonna do it? So who's gonna be the pour and who's gonna be the catch? Who's um, gonna pour? No, it doesn't matter. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll pour. Okay, you pour and I'll catch. So, 
basically you have to think about where is the person pouring from and then you have to set up the catch so that it's going to be uh, vertical to each other. So we're going to put a towel down. And I'm going to put a little pop there. So, all right, so if you're going to pour, I'm going to have you pour to this side first. Okay. All right. And then um, you've got some tape, right? I'm going to set up the tape so that she knows where to put the pour. Like a little, little mark. Actually, I'm gonna have you. I'm gonna look through the camera first um, when you pour, just to hold the cup. Just you know, come in here for a second with the mug. Um, maybe the black to go against the sweater, or the green. Actually, you're the coffee. You're the coffee. Mug. You have the coffee pot. <laughs> now that I think about it, right? You have the coffee pot. You're pouring it. We'll get it right. Okay, so. Can I see through? Uh, yeah. You can? Yeah, I can okay. see through. So, all right, so. So I'm going to be. All right, pouring. so I'm going to have you pour. Right here? All right, that looks good. So. Do you know what we need? Actually, scoot need down. Coffee. Yeah, we'll do it in a second. Just okay. scoot to the uh, left. Of a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Because I kind of, I actually scoot to the, scoot a tiny bit to right. Yeah, I just kind of fill you up in the box a little bit. Okay, good. So if that's good. where your pour is going to be, yeah. Okay. Perfect. And you so. like your pour to have the pour within this space, or do you reach down? I'll do both. Okay. okay. So, I should do that. I usually just. Going to be a pour right over here. I'm going to put a little tape mark up there. And then maybe a little. That's good. Right? So then yeah. when we do the mug and hold it up, you're going to want to hold it. Let me fill it to the coffee. Right. Yeah. If I put a little tape here, I'll just Photoshop it out, right? Yeah. It's a little reminder. So I'll put a little tape there so there's like a little bit of a guide so she knows where to pour from and uh, let's see, make sure and it lines up so that when I come back in, I'm going to hold the cup as if she's pouring it to me and I'm going to hold it up here so that way we know. And then we will switch sides and do a couple of different sides. Yeah. But, uh, and also we can, um, you want to capture some of the actual coffee coming out right. of the right. 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 So we'll take a couple of pictures. So you'll just kind of go here, and then we'll do a little bit lower, you know, like a variety. Okay. And for safety's sake, we actually cooled down the coffee all the way, so we're not dealing with hot coffee. Okay. A little. All right, let me just take a look at that. Any questions? Hi, guys. Hello, everybody. Oh, you're welcome, Michelle. I'm excited for you guys also. Wow. Oh, uh, Kathy, we said the camera today is, you might've come in on that one last. She has it set up horizontally. Um, the camera right now is horizontally. If you look back at the video, you'll see. But we, we just discussed that we actually usually do it vertically. I usually do it vertically. I used to do it horizontally, especially if you wanna capture more of the bottom vertical, but we were just setting it up and then now we're just going with it. Right. So, because <laughs> it'll take too long to adjust yeah. it again. Yeah. So. so, okay. Is so, it, you ready? Yep. So, I just There's uh, a remote right there. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, this is so an awesome can, remote. Look how long the wire is. You know, is it's good. even nicer when there's no wire. I recommend a no wire. So, you can get closer to your client. You just need to be sure you're not in the frame. All right. So, all right. So, let me just take You can tell me lower, higher. Yeah, so start right. But um, I want to make sure that the that I'm just gonna come back here. Okay, that looks good. All right, ready? And go. Whoops. And now look at me. Oh, smile. I forgot about smiling. Smile. And then be like, ah! And uh, bring, now bring it lower, like so it goes down a little bit. Actually, bring it to the right a little. So I wanna make sure that she's lining that up. Yep, Over just here. a little, nope, to, I'm sorry, to the left. Oh, a little bit more to your right now. Back. That's good, perfect. Good, and. Bring it down a little bit more. Good. Maybe even a little more. 
down. Good. Awesome. Okay. And we'll take a look and see. All right. So let's take a look at some of these pictures really quick. Make sure that, uh, I think, and the thing is that if you kind of mess, it's, if you can get the alignment perfect, then that's great because that makes it so much easier in Photoshop. But if you can't, then you can sort of you adjust things in Photoshop yeah. and you budget. That's why it's Photoshop. Yeah. <laughs> so the tether's not working, so we're not worried about it. Okay, so no tether. I'm going to just take a quick look behind the camera then. Let's take one more picture so I can see if it, anything else changed with the remote. Okay. You forget about the remote. Just need to throw something in there for you to focus on. Oh. I'm just testing the Lightroom tether again. All right. We're not about it. All right. We were tethered, but now we're not. <laughs> okay. So, oops. So now we have to do the opposite side. I know why we're not tethered. Because it's unplugged. Oh, all right. <laughs> That's a good reason. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. So, which one do you think? The black one? Um. I can't see the black against your sweater. Yeah, let's do that. So actually, bring you can bring that in front of the camera and just say that. Well, it would be up away from your sweater. However, the red adds a little more. Yeah, like a little pop, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. So now you kind of have to guide me a little bit. Okay, hang on one. All right, so you're you're just collecting the pour, right? Yeah, so I'm just collecting. So now it's like so, we have to visualize that she just poured here. I'm in the box lower than her, but I'm looking up, catching the pour, right? Yep. So so your um your thing is right here. You need that? Uh, no. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean that's actually a good idea to put it right there. So that way, I now I can see the inside of the box. That was a good idea. Yeah. Um, all right. All right. Ready? All right. Nice. And should I do it a little? Yeah. And always and maybe even you, like come do out that a again because I wanted to say one thing. Like I've shot where go how you were at first. Okay. Sometimes this arm blocks the face, you know. Right. Like, and that's not good. It's not as. Oh, look what happened to the camera. Hi, <gasps> ah! <Hey>, everybody. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. It says, wrote, sorry, everybody. <laughs> I don't know. Are we back? <laughs> Can y'all see us? Give us a wave. I think we're good. We're waving. All right. Are we still on? Yep. <laughs> we still <laughs> Oops, ceiling tiles. Yes, we're still alive. Alive. <laughs> All right, everybody can see us, right? Yep, we got good. All right, do you want to look at the camera? Do you want to look at the picture to see if I'm blocking the face? Oh, you're not. Okay. You're not. As a, as a matter of fact, that's a perfect pose. Right, here we go. Let's do it again. All right, now now, I would say up for a couple, bring your head out a little bit. Yeah, like that, exactly. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> And now we're, we're tethered so we can see a oh, picture over awesome. there. So now, now in thinking about this, right, so we did these kind of poses, we know that the, the bulk of the photos right now that we've done so far are on this side because her body's on this side, my body's on this side, right? So you want to start thinking about, like, if we're going to move on to another pose, you want to start thinking about putting people on this side so we can start balancing out yeah. the photos. You want to make sure that you're not always, you don't always have people posed in on one side and not on the other. Sometimes with some of the more simple photos, I have them repeated on both sides mm -hmm. so that I have options down the road later on. Um, I get a question a lot, not so much in our group, but when um, I post in other groups, let's say, and to just show them. And then this is an extremely, extremely common question. Why don't you move the camera so that the perspective is correct? 
Right. So when we take these pictures, you'll notice that the perspective isn't like technically correct, right? So every picture looks like it's on the same perspective, but if you have nine boxes, the perspective should look different on top than how it was looking from the bottom. And that is true, but can you imagine doing a photo shoot like this and always having to change the camera perspective? You have to know every single image that you're going to do in advance, pre-planned, that takes away all the spontaneity. And not change your mind at all. And not change your mind at all, right. So mm -hmm. for a family shoot, I mean, we're adults, and we're going to start being really spontaneous. Yeah. Now you're going to have little kids thrown into the mix, and they might not want to cooperate mm -hmm. with you. And It'll add you need so much time out to your shoot. So much. You need spontaneity. So I have given up. I don't even try for perspective. No. You no. don't try for I don't, perspective, no. right? No. And honestly, I, clients don't care. Yeah. <laughs> they, they don't even look for it. Yeah. They don't even notice. They're just so, they just think this thing is so cool. cool. So, all right. Yeah. So what else can we do? Um, and it, also, if you get stuck and you didn't shoot enough on the other side of the box, take a couple simple ones and flip them. Nobody will notice. Right. I mean, the lighting might be a little, the shadow looks a little different, yeah, but... Yeah, it, it might look a little different, or the person's part, part, or their hair might go on the other side of their face, and they're not used to that, but for some people it works. Right. Do you want to take a couple more, like, so maybe I'll try this? Sure. Yep. All right, and then don't cover your face. And that'll also, like, if we were, you know, when I go back and look at the pictures, I might be like, oh, I like this side of my face better than yeah. that side of my face. And yep. so, you know. Yeah. Okay. How's that? Good. Um, drop your left arm, like uh, off the, yeah. That way. Now is the cup right in front of your face? Uh, probably. Right. Yep. I'm looking at Lightroom over there, and it's right in front of your face. So that's why this side might not be such a great idea, but okay. that that worked. That worked okay. fine. Yep. Good. All right. Good. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Awesome. All right. Okay. So. Um, I'm just show like a couple of simple little shots that I'll show. Sure. Here. All right. So somebody said what kind of lighting is needed. So you, you want to okay. say so is there something you, in the units that? Yeah. So the lighting. So Cynthia has. If you, if I'm going to show this, I'm going to post this video later, so you can go back to it in the beginning because you might have come in later. The very beginning of this video, I posted. I showed you the setup, her setup, and her lighting. She just has um, one rectangular. Um, uh, softbox, maybe like a 48 yes. by 32 or I don't know, something like that. Nothing really, nothing actually that oh, humongous. Um, so when this is over, if you want to scroll backwards, you'll see her whole lighting set up. You can also look in the units. You can see uh, the video that I have on YouTube that shows my lighting setup. I actually have a 48 inch octo box, um, which is actually a, a much larger light diffuser, but her lighting is working fantastic. I mean, the light is yeah. perfect. So you don't need anything that crazy and that big. She's using how many watts is your uh, light? It's 640, but I normally use the 400. Okay, so I use a 400 watt. She uses, she's using a 640, but she's used a 400 watt light. Mm -hmm. They both work. Mm -hmm. um, I've never done it with speed lights, so I can't really yeah. speak to mm -hmm. that, but there are definitely other people in the group that do use speed lights. Um, so someone just had a question in... It's very simple. Somebody asked about, they Googled how to put your camera on vertical mode. This is how you do it. You turn it. So this, so this is horizontal and turn it vertical. Yeah, so you just might have to take a tripod and uh, you just pivot it, pivot it so mm -hmm. that it's, uh, it's... Yeah, maybe I'll try, uh, tripods don't do that, but mine does. Yeah, so you just pivot it. Right, right yeah, my, my tripod, you okay. can just turn it so you get it to a vertical mode. I think there's also like the L bracket, right, that people use to, yep. to turn it quickly. I have an L bracket at home. Yep. I just have to figure out how to use it. And when I do, I'll just make a little video and show you guys. Um, so somebody asked, how do you keep the um, workflow moving quickly enough to schedule one family an hour? I've been practicing and feel... I lost that. Do you have any advice to streamline sessions? I think one is just experience. Mm -hmm. So you'll start to know what poses you want. I would say write your poses down, yep. especially in the very beginning. If you know that you want specific poses, make yourself a little checklist and get them out. You know, and start putting people in, switching from side to side. Um, sh literally check it off. You can even use a visual checklist where if you see poses that other people have and you want to print out like a little visual checklist and then if the people aren't really sure you can just show it to them yeah but this just happens over time that you learn the poses that you want and you I know can show so you want to show a little 
So there's certain things that you might want to do even if you're not sure how you're going to use the pose ultimately. If you have somebody who's doing this, for example, um, you might have them be reaching mm -hmm. for something and then reaching down here and you say, okay, click reach to the ceiling, reach to the ceiling. You don't have anything in mind yet, but you might need it later. Or just have them look around, have them do both sides. So let's do it, let's do it. This. Ready? I'm gonna okay, do it. Ready. Ready? Oh wait, when she's yeah. looking to the side, I wanna show you something. So Cynthia's hands, okay? If she were to take her hand and go like this, when you guys go to edit it, you're gonna lose her fingers. It's gonna be chopped off, you may not be able to see it. So I always, this is a really big one, I always have my clients, if I wanna use it, have them have their fingers yeah. here. So when you edit the boxes together, you're not gonna chop off the fingers. And take my word for it, I, I have many pictures I've chopped off fingers. <laughs> yeah, like live and learn. You, these yep. are the little steps that we're like trying to get you ahead yeah, of the game. So, yeah. uh, so if she's going to hold, you always tell your clients to keep their fingers, you know, don't let them wrap it around the side of the box. Right. So that's a really big one. So, okay, so you wanna try a couple? Me through like five yeah. yeah, ready? So, okay, so. You want to just get I back don't know into, what to do. Tell all right. me what to so do. So get back into that pose you were just in. Okay. <laughs> okay. Keep your fingers so that they're not wrapped okay. around. And I want you to look at me. Good. I want you to smile. Great. And now I want you to look as if there's somebody right next to you. You know, great. You can look surprised. Watch when people have long hair. You don't want it to cover their face. Can you take your face and just bring it slightly out, but still look with your eyes? Good. There you go. Nice. Nice. Now can you wave to them with your right hand? Good. Perfect. Nice. And I want you to look up as if somebody's above you. Great. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Okay, don't forget to not wrap your fingers. Great. So now I have a feeling your hair might cover yeah, her eyes so a little I, bit because her hair is going to flow yeah, down. So, um, so this wouldn't be the best pose for me, but... No. So take your face and, and face it towards me a little more and then look up. Great. I love the way you're moving around. That's awesome. Now, right, so look down. I want you to move to the other side and look down. To this side? Uh, to the, uh, your, your left side. And um, I want you to just look down. And now hang your whole head over and look down as if there's somebody there. Okay, now look all the way up. In the same position? In the same position, yeah. Look all the way up. Great. Now, um, do you want to get smack in the middle of the box? Um, can you stand in it? Yep. Okay. And maybe make like a little X with yourself. Good. And now, um, <laughs> that looks like a yoga move. <laughs> you tell she's flexible. She does yoga. There you go. Um, so now Cynthia has really blonde hair. So one thing I would not do with her, you can sit down. Okay. So sometimes people like to do a hair thing where they have their hair hanging over, like toward the backwards. It's not. I wouldn't do this with Cynthia with a white bottom because if we do this, the editing is, is gonna be killer. The only way I would do this is if I had a green uh, cardboard or even black or something that would give contrast between her hair. I'm gonna just take a shot, okay? Um, later on, I wanna do it a long time? Yeah. Oh, sure. There we go. So uh, it, you're going to have such a hard time editing out that hair when it's blonde with a white bottom. I often keep this, um, this green board. with oh, okay. I, I keep a green board, just like a piece of uh, construction paper. Not even construction paper. I don't know what it's called. Poster but board. Poster board. Thank you. <laughs> poster board. I keep poster Some board here, green. and I throw in a piece of green, so it almost acts like a green screen, and then it's much easier I'm to cut out. Would you paint this green? I literally just tape it on. I know. I pull it Is there off. any value to that? I wonder. No. I mean, yes, I guess if you want to, but I. But then there might be times you don't want. Yeah, it. I just, I just like to have it there. Put it mm -hmm. on. Take it off. Because then, if we were to do my hair, the white's going to be great because yeah. I have dark hair and it's going to be an easy contrast. Yeah. You know. So. Um, so do I, I do a tug of some sort? Uh. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Well, if we do that, oh, yeah. Do oh, wait, the remote, we can do it. Oh, let's do a, so we have oh, this phone. phone, so we got a phone. She has this cool phone, and we thought, instead of doing a tug of war with, um, here, um, so one person's going to be on the phone, and one person's going to have the phone unit in the other box, right? Right, so, so we thought maybe we'd do a little tug of war with this, but we probably have to put the tape. 
tug of war or just on the phone? Uh, on the phone is good because it's it's like the same idea. You know when you've seen some pictures where people do tug of wars and they have a, a rope. Or now for Christmas, I think I use um, garland. I, sometimes I wrap people up in it. The idea is that when you do this, you want to make sure you know where the wire, the string, the rope is. Do we have any questions? Uh, yeah. Are the shadows on the bo back of the box okay? So what you're seeing on uh, right now on your screen, there are harsh shadows. There are not... Um, I feel like I'm going to move the phone yeah. over there. Yeah, I'm going to bring it over to the Lightroom screen so you can see. I don't... See how there's no shadows? Like there's literally almost no shadow on that. This is the, the Lightroom tether. So it's not the same thing that you see on your screen right now. And we actually like a little bit of shadow because that helps ground you in the box and looks realistic. Yeah, if you, if you got rid of all your shadows, it would look like you just photoshopped somebody in there. Yeah. You don't want that. Yep. You know, shadows are good. Just, you know, yeah, you want to have nice, soft shadows. Hi, all. Sorry we're not really on the back of the phone screen, so we can't do a lot of waving, but, okay. Hey. <laughs> okay, so how do we want to do this? So I'm on the phone. You're on the phone. You're going to be holding the phone, right? So this yes. is like the thought process that goes through my head when I do a shoot. Should I go on that? And I side? often do it out loud. <laughs> so you, can, you can stay exactly how you are, I think. No, the what? If the what? No, because you're going to be back in the box next holding this. So do you want me to do this way? Okay. No, so like... Do you see how it can be done both ways? Though? Okay, so, so the wire, we have to wire the wire across. Right, and if you had been against this wall, it's the same deal. Let's we'll go back for a okay. second. Okay, you're on the phone, uh -huh. and this is in the box next to Okay, you. all right, yeah. But we'll do it both ways. So, so let's just mark where the wire is going to be. All right. And do you want to... <laughs> Hold this. Okay. Tape and see... So sometimes if I have, if I have a garland or uh, um, a string, I'll tape it to, to here also. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you ever do that? Do you tape it? Uh, no. No. I'll, I'll tape it if it's a <laughs> string sometimes. So that way, um, if we have string, we can even do a, a, a pull like that. So we can do like a little pull. Okay. All right. So. All right. Just for this perfect. So you're on the phone. And I'll put it where it's supposed to be. Okay. Ready? Okay. Sweet. And each time you move, I'll make sure the, the cord is in the right spot. Um, and what are we going to do? Do the other side, because, well, I mean, go to the other side, because you were thinking, I'm on this side, but you were Right, that's what I was thinking, right. Yeah. So do you think I should put the phone on this side? We'll do both, because okay. you never know what's going to look better. And throw your head back laughing. Yeah. yeah. Turn it a slightly so it's 
Actually, do I really want the blue here? It's going to be hard to yeah, Photoshop it out. Do we have the blue on that side? Oh. Good point. We'll, yeah. We'll figure it you know out. What? We might have to redo that a little bit because I don't know if I want the blue on here. You don't. Because I'm going to Photoshop that out. And so I want the blue back here. We'll just redo that a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Right. Ready? Okay. I need one to the camera. That was a stupid face. Do it again. <laughs> And you know what, can you slide all the way back? And you know what's happening? Like I'm looking wire. at the phone and not the camera. So go all the way back. Like sit against it. Got yeah, it. That, so that you're kind of filling up the space of the box. There we go. And now look at the camera. And now type again. Like you're dialing. Good. That's not a... <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. All right. So should we... And the other thing I could do is... All right. It still be this way. As long as the cord is in that direction, I'm good. And I can't put it here because it'll... Because it'll... Well, try it. Okay. You know what? It's not a bad thing to try. It just might be hard to Photoshop that correctly. Yeah. So... This isn't a... Um, but we could do another one where you are down here. You know what? This and then we can make the wire down here. You know? Oh. oh, I don't know if we can make the wire down here. No, we have to try and do it up here. All right. One more. If the slant might be weird and wonky yeah. when you go to Photoshop. That's why you just do a lot of options. The whole phone thing may not work at all. Right. Right? Or I'm going to listen to her conversation. <coughs> Here we go. I'm listening. All right. Okay. So and the only other here. thing I would do is, yep, just, I don't need, it doesn't matter who's in the picture, does it? Well, you can talk to yourself. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> so you're so I'm back this. here, right? I was over here. Yeah. Just take the tape away. Even We're just redoing it because out. we realized that the tape was probably going to be this piece right here. annoyingly annoying to get. Sorry if you're bored. And you know what? You're less important. All you'd probably be photoshopping is this. That's true. So, oh, yeah, that's true. So, well, just do it again so we don't have to. All right, ready? Ready? Okay. 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 If, so it were a regular, if it were a regular sweater, it'd be so easy. <laughs> are, you you saying I, are you saying that I had a poor choice in costuming today? No, I love the strings. Right. Actually, throw the strings over because... <laughs> there you go. Good. There we go. That actually would be nice. Okay, I think we got it. It's perfect. <laughs> That's a good one. Okay, last one. Ready? Okay. All right. All right. So Phone's done. Phone, done. And if you're um, doing a tug of war, it'd be exactly the same. Right. So let's just do a couple of me doing what I, what you did, so that we can sort okay. of, you know. Oh, let's pass a coffee cup to each other. Okay. All right. We'll use the same same cup okay. that we we. Do we what do we use? Oh, right. We use that right one. Oh, we, should we pass it down? Sure. Okay. So we're gonna do a pass down. To up, so it's well, going to be similar. Down. That's yeah, true. yeah. No, that's good because you were holding the coffee cup up before, so right. now we're holding it down. Right. So we know we're just going to pass it. So we're like passing it to okay. each other. So we'll do a catch. Okay. So you're going to be want? there. You you decide. Okay. What do you think? Just wanna... All right. So if we're if I'm passing the cup down, sometimes you've seen in other pictures people pass like. Picture frames, they pass um, dolls, they pass mm -hmm. anything really. So, is this what you want? Yeah. But take your right hand off of it though. Yeah, that's perfect. I love that. And good. Okay. Um, so, as so the receiver, I wouldn't even, you would I, would just, I would just have my hand outstretched to right, it so. if I were shooting it. And I guess if you're connecting, if you want to shove and hunt up. Not connect, you're, connect, but just okay. like as if you were going to. So, so the, here's the right here, tape, right? right? So I'm going to want you to be right here. Okay. That's your, like, maybe both hands. As if I'm grabbing. As if you're going to grab. Oh, both hands? Maybe. As if you're going to grab. My spider. Huh? Okay. Right. Sure. <laughs> okay. All right, ready? Say throw a couple of pictures of me. Yeah. Uh, waiting to you, so yeah. we can do the connection in the. 
In the what? In the box. Okay. Let me just see if there's any other questions while we're... What lens and setting are you using? I'm using the 2470, and it's at 35 millimeters. It's 200 uh, shutter speed and f11. If anybody just came in, just know that I'm going to post this back into the group. Put it in the units. Probably put it on YouTube. Yeah. Some views up here. Beth. Oh yeah. You're going to become a YouTube star. <laughs> And, um, and then we went through the whole setup in the beginning of the shoot, but maybe we'll just do it one more time at the end, yeah. just to show everybody again, the full yeah. setup, um, but you can just rewind back and you'll see her entire studio and, and the setup. And if you have any specific questions about how to do something, ask now and hopefully we'll see it before we finish. Right. And we might be able to just do it. We might be able to do one real quick. Okay. All right, so am I just doing new flow? Yeah, flow? like a little flow, so that okay. way we can have some options when it comes time, it'll be really kind of fun to see because she's going to edit them and I'm going to edit them. We're going to see what we we'll get. We'll see what we kind of come up with, you know? Okay. <laughs> and again, now look how she's sitting. It's beautiful, but because I have the camera set up wrong, I have it horizontal instead of vertical, this foot will get cut off for sure. I'm just going to double check it on Lightroom, but it will. So I have so to be sure. So you could have me do something like that. Yep. yep I would just have her lift. Uh, yep. It's just your, it's, that's perfect. That's good. Okay. Look at the camera. And now look over here at my hand. Nice. And look up there at the ceiling. Generally, if I'm in one position, I will have them look a bunch of different ways and then switch positions before we go any further. And um, lean on your elbow in on the ground. Yeah, what can you do that? So you know what I think we need to do, by the way? What? We need cushions to these. <laughs> no. I think we need a cushion. I think I that's know. a new thing. Sure is. Not comfy. <laughs> it's not. It's less comfy than it looks. That's good. Okay. And look down here for me. Yeah. You'll find that in the when you're doing in the box, when you exaggerate, it's so much more fun. Yeah. It's more fun to edit and it's more fun to look at. It's less posy, but it's just generally there you go. Yeah, there oh, we go. Get it. Yeah. I don't do yoga. <laughs> Can you lay your hair down and we'll do it? Yeah. Or are you too tall? I'm oh, quite too tall for that. That's it. Be really aware of your people's fitness levels. <laughs> what are you trying to say? <laughs> I knew Elisa could do this. Oh my god, I don't know. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, I'm going to just be sure this isn't going anywhere. I have a fixed base. If you don't have a fixed base, if yours is well. just laying, oops, sorry, if you're, okay, and now look back. If you are just on a shelf or something. Oh, wait, but my hands with curled. Oh, curled hands. Okay, good. If you are just on a base, loose, don't do anything funky because you might have an accident. <laughs> yeah, she's ready. She actually needs her wine now. Now I do need a little out coffee. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so All right. should I do a little peekaboo? Yeah. A little peekaboo. Questions would be good. Yeah. And do a I'm listening to you. See how she exaggerates with her face? Because that just makes it so much more evident what she's doing. And I'm probably <laughs> standing in the middle of these. Oh, no, I'm good. All right. Um, She's done it from all positions. Um, can you stand up? What are you, 5'9"? I'm 5'9". I'm just saying, 5'9". <laughs> <laughs> You're 5'8". So. Yeah, well. Oh, wait, I have my hands are <gasps> wrong. We didn't so do anything together. together. Wait, my hands are wrong. Okay, ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah, let's get them together. Okay. okay. Also, if you have a child and you're comfortable doing this, and their parent is comfortable with you doing it, I sometimes have, of course this is only for my own grandchildren, have them jump out of the box so that we can get the kid right here. Wait, like you're telling me to jump out of the box? Oh yeah. <laughs> no, because you'll hit something. No, I'm definitely hit something. <laughs> All right. This is so fun. We never had boxes together. All right. All right. What so, are you doing? It's kind of hide this thing too, right? Um, well, you'll get rid of it. All right. One, you could, and do like back-to-back -back thing, or yeah. one's here, one's here. Just think, like this. 
So if you're if you're a couple, like a husband and wife, and working girlfriend, and then you really do like one laying in the other's arms, you know, like all that kind of stuff. But, but friends and sisters and stuff like that can do this too. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Nobody to tell us how it looks. I know. <laughs> Stupid. Like hanging anything over. Or... All right. All right. Where are you? Okay. I'm with you. Okay. <laughs> um. Uh, I don't know. Anybody have any ideas? All right. I'll go look. You think? Um. What is the dimensions of a white box? Four by four. This box is a four foot by four by foot by two box. Uh, Cynthia has the smaller box. Do you want, is it heavy? You want to show them later? Yeah, we'll show them. What okay. Um, you can really have any square, really, to fit people. This one fits. I have the same size box at home. I fit five, four, five adults. Two of them were six foot three. It was not pleasant for them. They were sweating, but they fit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you can fit larger people into this. It's much bigger than you would imagine, and it's definitely squishy um, and fun. But uh, any size square works, really. So um, some um, people do go deeper than a two feet. Some people go three feet and four feet. Yeah, right? they do. Yep. Um, somebody, Joanne Babcock, said the phone shots, she thought maybe... Both should have the receiver as if you were talking to each other. Good idea. Yeah, Let's that was it. a good idea. All right, so we really just need, uh, that's a good idea. We, Let's do it. You want to do it? Okay. Actually, we probably have that, right? When we edit it, we probably would be able to. Um, uh, no, because I never had the it. receiver. Oh, all right. So then we need, so I need to me having the receiver. Okay. Okay, so we were like right here. That's a great idea, actually. I don't know why we thought about it. Okay, wait. And that's the, that's the spontaneity. That's what happens is when you're in the moment, somebody goes, oh, why don't we do this? Or why don't we do that? And if you have that perspective set up in different places and you don't know where you're going to end up, you know, that, that you need to have that spontaneity. And you also need to have that spontaneity when you edit. Because your client might say, you know what? I really want, thought I was going to pay for that four box but I want to do a nine box. Mm. So if you have specific shots set up with different perspectives, you're going to, you might not have the shots then for it. So um, that was just a really good example of spontaneity. Yeah. Thanks, Joanne. Good. Okay. Um, Should we do one more? Just sure. And just sit sure. back there? Sure. Sit back. Oh, were you sitting on, which side were you sitting? Uh, I was sitting this way, right? We did it on both sides. Okay. We have a cord coming from both sides. Okay. It's okay. I think. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. That's good. Somebody asked um, where I got the box when I built it. And there are instructions in the Yes, there units? are instructions in the units. Yeah. Um, if you're not sure where the units are, go to the uh, pinned post, which is the very top post in the announcements. I have a link that goes directly to the units for you. And somebody else again asked about the shadows. You probably just joined us. And if you watch the part, this again, when it's posted, you'll see that you see the shadows right now, but you won't see them. They're not that harsh in real life. In, in some making sense, not in real life, in the photo, because the the light will be lit up from the from the. Um, okay. Right so now, our, is there a big shadow behind me? Yes, there's right. a very large shadow. But as soon as the flash goes off, it brightens all of this up, and it's a lot nicer. So. Okay. All right. So I think uh, I think we've accomplished yeah. our yeah. mission. So yeah. all right. Well, you want me to flip it, and then we can see if any other questions. I just looked. Oh, okay. All right. Good. So. That's it. All right. So. Thank you to everybody for our very first. Edmund founder tutorial yeah play inside yeah. the photo box so um you know if you have any other questions just write them in the comments because
yeah. we'll go back and we'll yeah. answer questions later on too. Um, I'm gonna put this in the units. I'm gonna put it on YouTube. Yeah. Be a star. Yeah. <laughs> Better have a cup of coffee now. Let's have some coffee. Okay. All right. Thanks, Bye. everyone. Bye, guys. <laughs>